Hey everyone, Ed Holman, Old Guy Hi-Fi Channel. Hope everyone's doing well today. Today I thought I'd do a quick review of a vintage pair of German speakers made by a company called Braun. Now most of us know Braun from the shavers. Obviously they're coffee makers. There's some consumer electronic products here in the US sold under the Braun brand name. Um, and so Braun's a very famous company in Germany. They've been manufacturing consumer products for years and you're starting in the post-war era all the way through to today. But for a period of time, starting in I think the late 50s, early 60s, they were big into hi-fi. Now, very much like other hi-fi companies in those days, they made console, console stereos and all-in-ones and things like that. And they also made individual components and speakers was one of the ones that they uh, were kind of famous for. In the early 60s, Braun actually licensed from Quad the design and the uh, license to build basically the Quad ESL in Germany. And so that was a mainstay of their product line for a long time. So they had some high-end cred. Well, starting in the late 60s, they, they or late 60s, early 70s, they came out with products more like this. Now, how it started. Now, there is some confusion about the Braun relationship with a company here in the US called ADS. Now, Dr. Gunther Gotthard was, excuse me, Dr. Gotthard Gunther, sorry about that, was a NASA physicist from Germany. And he came over in 1966 and he was very dissatisfied with the hi-fi gear he could get here. Now, he was a musician and very passionate about music as well. And so he had his Braun stereo system sent over from Germany and pretty soon friends and coworkers and everybody got really interested in it. So at that point, he reached out to Braun and became the U.S distributor of Braun Hi-Fi speakers. And so that's kind of the history with that. Now, in 1974, he started his own company building speakers, but he was importing the drivers from Braun in Germany. Now, as that evolved, that company became known as ADS. Now, ADS and Braun shared drivers, but not the same technology. ADS speakers had a dome mid-range, not a cone mid-range. So that's one of the ways to tell the difference. Well, eventually they split their, they, they separated their ways and ADS went on to do their own thing and Braun kind of vanished from the US market. So that's how the, that's the story of the speaker. So it may look similar to an ADS speaker. It's the same era that ADS was building a similar speaker. But again, the ADS had a dome mid-range, not the cone mid-range. Um, and Braun to this day can, continues to manufacture hi-fi gear in Germany and they kind of have a copy. In the 60s, they had a very famous uh, industrial products designer named Dieter Rams. And he designed a bunch of stuff, turntables and coffee makers and all kinds of things for Braun. And they still to this day sell a speaker that kind of looks like the quad flat panel, but it's, you know, it's probably this deep and it sits on a stand. I don't know much about it. There's very little information available. Um, but anyway, so they're still in the hi-fi business. They're trying to get back into it now with Bluetooth speakers and all-in-one stereos and things like that, at least in the German market. So anyway, these bronze, it's an eight inch three-way, as you can see, co fairly compact size. That's the size of my hand. That's an eight inch woofer. It is a sealed box. So it has a very smooth roll off, but doesn't play very deep. That's one of the issues with this kind of a design. Now it has a very typical, um, what I would call German sign sound signature, very much like Canton speakers. It's got a little bit of an accentuated upper mid and treble area and kind of a very soft, but detailed, but roll, very nicely rolled off bass. I bet it doesn't get much below about, I bet it's three dB down points, probably somewhere around 60 Hertz, maybe. It uh, may not even be that low, but it's very smooth and very nice. Just doesn't have a lot of heft. So paired with a subwoofer, this would be an awesome speaker. Um, nice dome tweeter. Again, the bronze used a cone mid-range. The ADS that kind of looked like this used a dome mid-range, the sticky dome. Um, so I paired these up with a lot of vintage gear plus new gear. Uh, thank you to Kevin at Skylabs for loaning me these speakers. I paired them up with this big Pioneer that I already did a review on. I paired them up with a big, a big and beautiful Accuphase E202 integrated amplifier. I paired them up with um, my uh, Cambridge Evo 150. I paired them up with my Cambridge AXR 100. Uh, I also paired them up with the uh, Orchard Audio Star Crimson uh, DMC 2.5, Ultra 2.5. And they sound very, very nice. Now, the best combination was probably this and the AXR 100, because the AXR 100 is a little smoother on the top end than the, the other amps. Although it did sound really good with the Pioneer and the Accuphase, and that's kind of its era. So that's, a, that's an important thing to think about. Um, but anyway, 
Very good detail. Now it's an asymmetric design, so that both speakers have the mid ranges on the on the uh, left hand side and tweeter on the right hand side, so they're not mirror images of one another. And I don't know if that has any effect on it. They image pretty nice, and they had a nice smooth uh, sound. Little energetic in the top end, but that's very common for uh, German design speakers uh, even to this day. Uh, Canton and some of the ELAC product that uses the jet tweeter and things like that can be a little hot on the top end. And most people would call it detail. And for me, an accentuated top end is kind of, I'm not a, I like a smooth top end, but, and this is smooth, but it's a little bit accentuated. Um, and they, they play very well at medium to moderately loud volume levels. You get a little bit too loud and I didn't want to get them loud because they're, they're old and I don't want to do any damage to them, but they started to get a little bit shouty. Um, but still an excellent speaker and the build quality is just magnificent. These wood cabinets, just wonderful. Now, one drawback to speakers of this vintage, let me spin this around, is push terminal connectors. <laughs> I had to use like 16 gauge bare wire to get in there. I couldn't even get any of my little pin connectors in there. It's, it's, a, it's a bit of a shame, but anyway. So that's the Braun LC or IC 1003 slash eight. Really nice speaker. Um, I enjoyed my time with them. Obviously they're showing their age a bit, but they're still beautifully built and they're wonderful. And I bet you could probably get in there and if you wanted to, uh, do some stuff with the crossover. You could make it just sing. They're, they're really well constructed. Anyway, that's the bronze speaker. If you like the content uh, and you like this video, please give me a like and a subscribe. Um, again, heart to heart to you guys. 80% of the people that are watching my videos aren't subscribed. Now we're, the subscriber count is growing very nicely. Please don't think I'm complaining, but it could grow much faster if more people subscribed. And the more people that subscribe, the more credibility I have with the manufacturers of gear to get product in for review. And that would help the channel a ton. Also too, please comment. Anybody who's commented knows I respond to the comments. I love that inter exchange of information with all of us. Uh, I just think that's really important. Also too, and I've got some already, uh, please send me a playlist of your favorite music and I will post them anonymously in our community post and let everybody share so we can get exposed to maybe music we're not normally listening to and we might find something we really like. And to me, the discovery of new music and, and, and that is really one of the most gratifying and satisfying things about being an audiophile and obviously sharing content with everyone else. In the description below are affiliate links for all the equipment I use in, the, in my reviews and here in the studio and also my playlist. So please comment on those. I really appreciate the time you give me in my videos. I really do. I'm so grateful. I'm having such fun doing this and I'm very fortunate to get to play with some really great classic equipment like these bronze speakers. Anyway, like, subscribe, comment, all of that social media stuff. Follow me on Instagram. Thank you so much. This is Ed Homewood, Old Guy Hi-Fi Channel saying, now it's time for you to go listen to some music. Thanks.